Hello guys, I'm back with another build review. This is a updated build called the simplified the simplified build on um, version three. And um, I'll show you how to install the build, and um, I'm also view the build itself. So let's get started. We are on a fresh Cody. There's nothing on here. And um, there'll be three links in the description for you to, you know, three different ways you could download the build. One is through Aries Wizard. That's the easiest way. The other way is through Steven's Wizard. The link for that will be in the description also. And uh, um, another way is to download the wizard and install through zip file. Alright, so let me show you. I already have the Aries Wizard installed. For those that are new to Aries Wizard, I'll show you how to um, get the Aries Wizard. You'll go to the gear icon and then go to file manager and then you'll go to add source. You click on none and you'll put the source there. And the source that you're going to put there is right here. I'll leave it on the screen for a second. All right, so once you're done putting that uh, the source in there, I've named it Aries. You can name it whatever you want, and then you'll hit OK. So what you do now is you back up, and then you'll scroll to Add-ons, and then you'll go to the top left corner where the box is at, click on that, and then you'll go to Install from Zip File. Once you get this little pop-up, you'll go to settings and you'll tick unknown sources and then click yes. And you'll back out and now you want to enter install from zip file and you'll go to Aries. That's what I named it so if you named it something else, you'll navigate to that. Click on it. Click on it again and you install the zip file I already have it installed but wait for a notification to pop up so once that pops up you'll go up one time you go to install from repository you go to Aries project you scroll down to program add-ons and then you'll install it all right. So now you want to go into the Aries um the Aries wizard. That's that's in the program section. And you give it a few minutes, I mean a few seconds for it to pop up. Alright, now what you want to do is you go to Browse Builds and then you'll scroll down till you see Steven. You're looking for the name Steven. And that's right here. You click on that. And now you're going to look for the simplified build. As you see, that's quite a different there's quite a few builds in here but the build you're looking for is the simplified build that's this one as you can see is version 3.0 just been updated you click on that and then you hit install and then you click proceed now if you get a slow connection like this you could just hit cancel Hit OK and then install it again. There you go, that's much better. And you can also see it's only 210 megabytes, so it should be OK for your Fire Stick. 
I really don't know the max. I don't own a Fire Stick, and I don't know the max um, megabytes the Fire Stick will hold. I don't know how big the build. You know, what's the max build? If somebody would let me know in the description, I mean, in the um, comment section, I'll appreciate it. Alright, it's almost done downloading. And thank you guys. I just want to tell you thank you guys for being patient with me. I have so many bills I'm trying to um, update. You know, the ones I can update. I know I can't update them all. But, um... I'll try my best to, you know, tackle it down. So this build, it's like it's self-explanatory, it's simplified. It's not too busy on the screen. You know, it's, it's, it's clean. It's simple to navigate. You know, it don't have a lot of, you know, uh, it doesn't have a hundred add-ons and only 30 30 works you know it has a few add-ons that work you know and it's known for, you know it's been around for a while all right so once that's done you'll wait for the dialog box to pop up all right so once that pops up you just want to click no then click no again and code needs to be closed you click OK all right so you'll want to go back into Cody and this is the build now um when you first install the build give it a you know, a couple of seconds, probably a minute or two for it to fully load and let it do its thing in the background, let it settle down. You know, let it update whatever it needs, you know, whatever needs to be updated. A couple of more things is being updated. All right. All right, let me go ahead and show you this build. Like I said, it's easy to navigate. Everything is at your fingertips. No need to go look through countless of add-ons to look for your content. All right, here we have our videos. In the sub-menu, you have our files and your video add-ons. Let's go into our video add-ons so I can show you the add-ons that's on there. Someone had asked for this, the Premier League for sports. It's on there. Here you have your Falcon, Real Movie, Stream Army. A couple of add-ons in here. Alright. Next we have our hub. Thank God the um, extended info mod started working again. I use this a lot in my builds if you've noticed. I feel that it's easy to use. You know, instead of searching whatever you want to look for in each add-on, you could just use this. Alright, so we're going to all movies. And the functionality of Adding movies and TV shows to your libraries are back. The way you do it, if you don't know, you would click on it. 
um, click on it. You would um, either long press or hit your context button for this menu to pop up. And then you would add to library. All right. If you want to watch a movie from here, you just click on the movie. All right. And then you would just hit play. So that movie Mad Max, you could choose which add-on you want to watch it on. Let's say you want to watch it on um, the Elysium add-on, you click on that. And that's it, you could watch it straight from here. I find this way better, like you don't have to go for each add-on, you know, to look for the for that one movie. You could just look look for the movie on here. Now, if you find that you have like, you know, low quality links, you could just press on it again and choose another add-on instead of, you know, looking for another add-on to you know, it's a it's a pain. Let me just hit cancel. All right, let me hit cancel again. Get back up out of there. Easy way to switch to your TV shows, you go all the way to your left, click on that one time and switch to TV shows and you can add your shows from here also to your library. I hit the context button or long press and then you add to library. Alright, as you can see on the top right, it's scanning the TV show. What is this, Pretty Little Liars? Just adding it to the library. I'm going to wait for that to finish so I could jump up out of here. Alright. So that's done. Now I'm going to be back out. Alright, so when you go in the sub menu, here we have our movies. You can either click on movies, it'll take you to the list where you add your movies to. I've just added this one. The, was it the gal? Yeah, it was this one. Alright, so you populate this yourself with your list, the movies you want to watch. Alright, next in the sub menu, you have our TV shows. So the TV shows you add will be in here. See, we just added Pretty Little Liars is right here and you could play it straight from here also. When you press up, you could also go into the TV show um, category. Where was I? And here we have oh, our next aired. And um that's where you could um the TV shows that's airing you could look it up on here and um see what time the show is coming on and so on and so forth as you can see there's no TV shows there because I haven't added any you know TV shows that's airing right now to the library when you do it'll be right here and you can see what date or time the TV show comes on all right, next we have our movie section. All right, in the, when you click on movies, it takes you to the Elysium movie section. There's a shortcut to, the, to that section on the add-on. In the sub-menu, we have Elysium movies, Exodus movies, Flix Next movies, Reborn, Showbox, Rail Movies, and Specto. Alright, just on the bottom of it is the widget for, for that particular add-on. So let's say Exodus. When you go to the widget, this is Exodus Most Popular. This is Flix Next. 
Netflix net um new movies. And I also believe the FlixNet add-on just had an update not too long ago also where you could, if you have a Real the Brit account. So, I believe all three of these, Elysium, Exodus, and FlixNet, you could add your account on there. Here you, here you have Reborn Movies, and this is um, New Movies, Genesis Reborn New Movies. Here you have Showbox Movies. It's most popular. And here you have Real Movies and Spectral Movies. Alright. Next we have our TV shows. Clicking on TV show itself takes you to the Elysium add-on in the TV show section. Alright. In the sub-menu. You have Elysium, Exodus, Flixnet, Reborn, Showbox, and Spectral. Okay, for the widget, you have Featured. For Exodus TV show widget, you have <clears throat> People Watching. For Flixnet TV shows, you have Most Popular. For Reborn TV shows, this is New Shows. And Showbox TV shows, this is Most Popular. And you have Specto. Alright, next we have our TV section. When you click on that, it takes you to the Falcon um the Falcon on um, Live TV. So you have UK, USA, and World TV. Alright, I'm in the USA, so I tried to let me try the UK. I know the USA TV is working. To change the view, guys, you just want to hit down and then hit down again. See on the bottom left, it says option. You click on that and change it to list. You hit down and then you hit down again. All right, let me see if any one of these work. It could just be a bit different. Oh, okay, I do. Let me try one more. For music. All right. So the next time you go back into the add-on, it'll be in the list view. When you change the view. All right. In the submenu on the TV, we have Sky Cinema channels, Sports Devil TV for your sports. UK sports channels and live membership. Let's go into live membership. All right, here you have your sports live TV channels. Let me test a couple of them out. Let's try link one. <coughs> okay, Sean, what we'll do, let's have a look at. Oh, that's great quality. Let's try one more. Let's try something in BT Sports 3. Guess that one's just not working. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's just sound on that one. Let's try BT2. I guess if the first link is not working, you try the second link. Because I see most of them have link 1 and link 2. Let's try Fox Sports 1. I'm just um, uh, okay. 
So there you have it. I guess some channels work, some channels don't work, but you have other categories right here. It's a huge list. All right, you also have UK sports chan um yeah, UK sports channels. Let's try any link. You have Sports Devil TV and Cinema, what is this, Sky Cinema Channel HD. Makes them taste so good. Oh, I completely forgot. Once you, um, the channels work. I forgot to tell you guys. When you're in, um, UK Sports Channel and you click on the link, just give it a second to load. It'll seem like the links are not working, but give it a second to load once you click on the link. As you can see, I clicked on it and I just got out that um that section and it started playing. <clears throat> Let's go into Sky Cinema. Let's go to Sky Cinema Comedy. Hey, Bogan, when your father wakes up. All right. Now, for our next category, we have music. I didn't do too much of the music. You guys let me know if you want more music um, add-ons on here. So, we have Karma and we have Top 40 Charts. That's all I put on here. I'm not. I don't, I'm not sure if you guys really want music on here. A lot of people tell me they don't play music through their TV. So you guys let me know if you want me to, you know, keep adding the music on here. And then here we have our add-ons, video add-ons, some music add-ons, program add-ons, picture add-ons. And um, all add-ons. Let's go into program add-ons. You have your auto cleaner here. And um, the thumbnail cleaner. For those that don't know how to work the thumbnails cleaner and you're new. I've been using this on most of my builds. The first thing you do is um, you long press the button or hit your context button for this menu. You scroll down to settings. And then you slide over to select the destination folder. Right? And what you want to do is you'll click on that. And you're trying to create a folder on your external device. Not within the Kodi folder. So for me, I'll go to external storage. I go to download. As you can see, I made a folder here. I called it junk. So every time I clean the thumbnails and stuff, it goes in this folder and I just clean that folder later on. I do this to keep my, you know, my Cody running smooth and everything. So you click on it and then you hit OK. Alright. Then you scroll down. You hit OK. And now you can clean the thumbnails. I do this like every two or three days if I start to see my Cody slowing down that's when I use it as you see it's 802,000 there it's 122 megabytes so you scroll to clean all right then you slide over to proceed See, it recovered 94.9 megabytes. You hit OK, and you can see the before and after. 
it went from 122 megabytes to 28 megabytes so you hit exit and that's it all right guys thank you for watching and um if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching